Today our topic is movement and levers. Basically, in this figure we can see that uh, uh, two forces, F1 downward, F2 downward forces are acting on uh, different places from the pivot point. From the pivot point F1 having distance D1 and F2 having distance D2. The turning effect or moment of a force is a measure of the turning effect of a force. Uh, basically in this slide we can see that the turning effect or moment of a force both are same things. Both are the same terms. Okay. Uh, when the force acting on this handle and this one is the moment arm and the rotational effect produced in this is called moment of force and other name is uh, torque and uh, its unit will be Newton meter it is a vector quantity uh, the other name of moment is torque and moment is force and displacement multiple of force and displacement okay moment of a force is measured by multiplying the force by the perpendicular distance of the line of action of the force from the fulcrum okay this one is the fulcrum okay and the uh, force acting due to uh, weight downward and uh, the distance from the fulcrum or pivot is D so the multiple of D and F is equal to moment or moment of force or torque this is an other figure in which we can see that this one is the pivot the center center is the pivot point okay and as we uh, increase the distance from the pivot point less force is required to open or close this uh, nut okay that is why we are using the spinner or any uh, helping material which have more long moment arm which is very helpful to consume the less force moment of a force depends on the magnitude of the force and the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot if an object is in equilibrium there is no resultant turning effect and no resultant force in this uh, figure we can see that uh, the moment of this one basically this is the distance 1 meter and uh, force 20 Newton and uh, the moment in right side of the pivot point is 20 Newton meter the moment value of moment is 20 Newton meter and on the other side of the pivot point an other mass which is lesser weight and uh, having 10 Newton but doubled uh, moment arm from the pivot point as compared to in this figure uh, so the resultant will be same in both cases so no turning effect produced in this pattern okay the 2 meter multiplied by 10 Newton will give us 20 Newton meter moment and so the moment on the both sides are same so no turning effect will produce in this pattern law of moments the law of moments the law of the lever when a body is in equilibrium the sum of the clockwise moments about any point equals the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about the same point now what is the lever lever is basically helping device or simple machine 
A lever is any device which can turn about a pivot. In a working lever a force called the effort is used to overcome a resisting force called the load. The pivotal point is called the fulcrum. Basically in this uh, slide the four definition lever is a basically machine. Okay. And effort. Effort we uh, we exert a force on this point this is called effort input force okay and the output force will be uh, the resultant force which produced by this effort and uh, this one is the load to overcome this load we have put some effort on the other side of the lever and this one is the fulcrum this one is the fulcrum so all these four definitions are very important for your paper point of view underline in your book or learn from this slide levers clockwise moment equals anti-clockwise moment classes of lever first class second class and third class okay the first class having fulcrum is very near to the load okay in the first class okay and the in second class the load and effort on the same side of the fulcrum and in the third side uh, the effort inside of the load and fulcrum these are three classes of the lever condition for equilibrium one the sum of the forces in one direction equals the sum of the forces in the opposite direction Two, the law of moments must apply Okay, these are two conditions of equilibrium, keeping your mind.